Hello. We are KS Architects, and we are disrupting the way that we build our cities. When we talk about the smart city, we normally refer to IoT, robots, applications, but we forget one thing, and that is people. We are underusing your creativity. We don't focus on you. So it's funny because a smart city, a 1.5 trillion industry, is working dispersely. It's very good at collecting data. It's very good at tracking, but not good at listening. At Chaos, we listen, and we turn your voice into business intelligence. So this is very scary, but it's quite simple. We are building a cloud service that is powered by artificial intelligence. We collect data from people and open sources. And then we create new data that we sell for business reports. Also, and what makes us scalable, is that this we sell to other parties. We open our APIs for them. So our mission is to become the de facto smart city development platform. So what does this mean really? Is that we gather data, we analyze that, and with this, through artificial intelligence algorithms, we're able to forecast the future of cities. So we can tell you if a development project is going to be successful or not. Concretely, this means that for our customers, we are cutting up to 30% time on developing process. So we start with very basic ideas, gathering citizen engagement. But overall, we can deal with permits, engaging people, um, do, engaging with networks of stakeholders. So we are very uh, easy to work with. We work with licenses, and we work for cities, developers, and big data players. We range, our licenses range from engaging citizens up to machine learning services. For people, we're always free. We're different from our competitors because we not only deal with da big data or not only with people, but we actually combine both. Our team has expertise in architecture, urban planning, business, marketing. But I know also that we are creative. We are a very strong thing team that makes things happen. We have a booth right now in Slush, so if you want more information about us, visit us and download Happy City from the Google Play Store. In December, we're going to be closing our second round, and we need more investment. If you are interested, come and talk to me. Thank you. So this was actually the first time I heard you guys pitch, and I know that we have offices in the same yeah. building. I'm having a bad conscience. But uh, I've heard good things about you. Uh, I think I know something from the construction industry. I'm in the board of a big company, and I know how difficult and slow industry it is. So. For me, you know, I love the thing that you do, but I'm a little bit, let's say, bothered that you don't have a kind of a spearhead thing that you're taking to the market. Mm -hmm. For me, as an investor, it feels that you're a little bit all over the place. So could you explain why you're doing all the yeah. things that you're doing? Yes, uh, if I can go back here. So uh, the cloud service here is our uh, competitive advantage. No one right, right now is in the re uh, real estate or building department. Like We are just speaking about smart cities. And actually, cities and developers are investing a lot of money there. So we are the ones, first ones, gathering that data. Our spearhead is like people. So our user interface for them is Happy City. Uh, but I think, and I believe here, that with this data that is spread all over, like we are really going to join everything together, and then sell these APIs for them. This is very valuable information, but not only for developers, which is an industry that moves a lot of money, but also for big players, like if retail services, like Google, whatever. Like It's just crunch data together. No one is actually taking the time to do that now. So is it all your own data, or are you also bringing in? Because I mean, it sounds like that's the Happy City is a sort of survey tool, effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, but are you? What other data are you bringing in to your system? So um, it's different partnerships. Right now, we have open data, which cities are opening, but we also have partnerships. So for example, we have some partners that gather data, but they don't know what to do with that. It's not useful for them like that. So we combine different layers of data. Happy City or people for us represent around one third of the information. So it's not essential, but we gather that. So the business here is the APS that we sell behind. 
And how are you planning to scale this? So you, which is the first city to start with and how do you want to roll it out? Yeah, we have now some talks with, for example, New York City and Finland and, of course, the Nordics first. But then we have to be in these forerunner cities where we have a lot of people and a lot of citizen engagement is needed. So these kind of things. And developers have a lot of uh, headquarters there. So that's our scaling strategy. But I really want to emphasize here that the opening of APIs can be for any company. That gives us a competitive advantage. Can you say briefly, you mentioned that the app is the real spearhead. What is the information you collect? Is it are you happy or not, or is it a uh, is it something more deeper than that? What's the right question to yeah, ask people? That's very interesting. We actually, if you want to change something in your city, uh, you take a photo, and with augmented reality, you select from a group of catalogs, uh, and then uh, send your idea. We collect demographics from you, and then we give you points every time you do this. The interesting here, thing here is that with the data that we gather is that every time that you send an idea, you, we get ping real time all the stakeholders, the ones who own the land, the ones who want to build there, and say, hey, an idea just came to your territory. So you have to do something about that. OK, so, so, so one third comes through, uh, through the people who collect you the data with the ideas, uh, give you the demographics, and so forth. Um, are you able to, let's say, somehow intensify the data collection because in a way way I see this is that you should kind of a, be super fast in getting building that data asset and then kind of a monetizing it because of course you know the more you have uh, the better it will become and of there there will be more oppor opportunities so can you talk about that one third the rest two thirds yes uh, so right now like as I mentioned like we are in partnership with like, some other um, providers that I can't say no <laughs> but like we, can you give an example yeah, for example, real estate. Uh, so we know who owns the building. We know how many persons or stakeholders, developers, like are interested in that. So that is one information that we currently have. So, or transport, for example. So when you combine that with people and with people be feeling happy real, or, like, really in those apartments, then you, know, you create something different. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Um, maybe last question. So how do you want to finance that? Because I think the problem is a bit you will need kind of a lot of money to build your products, to gather all the data, and that, that will take time. Yeah. And you won't be able to show like crazy traction for the next one or two years. So, so how do you think about that? So that's why we are focusing in the APIs. Like this data already exists. It's just a matter of gathering and crunching to them. Uh, what we're doing with Happy City is just being an interface, like Google does. You just enter a question, and that's it. But Google does a lot of things behind. So that's how you do it. Uh, if I can add here, Pokemon Go did that. So they gather a lot of huge database behind, and then they uh, launch this Pokemon Go. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for